Cricut Design Space for Desktop version 7.5 is here. The what's new feature that they're showing is about the text wrap. It says, use the control handle of a text box to adjust the text box on the canvas. Your text wraps automatically while keeping your selected font size. My name is Ruth. This is Hank's Maker Mentor. Let's open up a new project and I'm gonna show you what's included in this update. I'm gonna go ahead and click text. And I'm gonna go ahead and just type in Hanks. I'm gonna press enter to go to a new line. I did not press enter between the word maker and mentor. Because this is the width of the box, it automatically put it on a new line. If I click away from my box and then click back on the text to edit it again, you'll see that the box appears and this time it's got these little rectangles there to adjust the size of the box. Using this, I can resize and it'll automatically reposition the text. It's not changing the size of any of it. It's just repositioning to fit the width of the text box. They've added a new option to customize in setting. You can now save a default load type. For the Cricut Explorer family, my options are none, on a 12 by 12 mat or on a 12 by 24 mat. Maker has the same options as the Explore family. If you go to the Joy, you can select none without a mat, on a mat of the four and a half by six and a half mat, or on the four and a half by 12 inch mat, or on the card mat. The Maker 3 and the Explore 3 both have without mat. 13 inches on mat 12 by 12 or on the 12 by 24 mat. This is useful if say you're using your Cricut Joy and you almost exclusively do cards. You can come in here, change your Joy and select on card mat and then click done. If you don't have a preset selected and you're using a Cricut Joy, Explore 3 or Maker 3, each time you click make it, you'll have to make one of these selections. If I click on mat, it'll ask me which mat size. I can click to remember the selection that I just chose. And it's got the little information icon that I can always change this in settings. If you've selected a default and you need to do a different one temporarily, you'll come into material load type on your mat preview screen, open up the dropdown and change it to the one you need it to be. Next, we're gonna go into upload and talk about how they've changed upload. In previous versions of Design Space for Desktop, this is the screen you would see when you clicked on the upload button. Now you'll see this banner that they've added that lets you know that you can either subscribe to Cricut Access, try it for free, or if you're already subscribed, this is what your screen will look like. It lets you know that you've got perks, you have unlimited and unrestricted use of every image in our ever growing library lets you know to see what's new and you can click on search now, which brings you to the search function of the images tab. I see it as a way to try to remind users why they're paying for access so they continue to do so. If you have questions about Cricut Access, check out the video that I'm linking in the description below. Regardless of your Cricut Access subscription status, you can still upload images and patterns with this latest update. This update also includes three improvements to the background remover function when you're uploading images. The first one is the HEIC files, which are an Apple specific file, can now be uploaded in Design Space. Previously, those were not something you could upload, now when you're erasing, if you go off and come back on, it'll keep erasing. Previously, you would have to click again to start erasing after you went off the side. And the third new feature is that the brush size can now go all the way down to one when you're working. Previously, it would only go down to five. And this works with erase and restore. It'll go all the way down to one. The last new feature is that when you are setting up a new product, it will activate it first before it will check and attempt to update the firmware. They also show six different bug fixes that are part of this update. And one thing I've noticed is just because they don't include something listed as a bug fix does not mean it wasn't fixed. Prior to this, when I went to save projects, it would not show me my available collections. With this update, it is showing them again. I'm hoping this update improves some of the text bugs we've been having 
since they did the work to allow us to resize the text box and do the text wrapping without having to manually do hard returns or change the size of our font. I hope it was helpful to see Design Space for Desktop version 7.5 in action. Let me know in the comments down below which of these features is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.